All right, you can't see me, but it's a new month, the second day of May, and uh, I'm going to buy a bell set of all things. That's right, I bought a bell set, or a glockenspiel, whatever you want to call it. Throwing it back to middle school band class, it even comes with a pair of these Vic Firth M6s, the same mallets that I owned in middle school. But I bought these because at least once a year I'll play a gig where I need to play bells and I always end up borrowing them from a friend or from a school or someone. Or I'll bust out my actual set from middle school that sound like garbage and are impossible to play. So these popped up for a pretty fair price. By no means is this a professional set, but it's a huge upgrade from those dinky little things that I had in middle school. Welcome to tomorrow where I just sold all of this. I'm honestly not sure what half of these things go to, but they've been sitting around forever and I don't need them. All right, so today is an exciting day because I just sold these parts that came off of the fibs from last month or whenever it was I got this. That's not the only reason it's exciting, I just sold these three hoops. And to continue with the excitement, I just sold this old thing. It was given to me, it didn't have the wall wart, so I paid 20 bucks for that like 5 years ago, 10 years ago, who knows when. But I sold it for 50, so you do the math. And the only reason I said today was an exciting day in the first place is I was expecting this, but it came way later than I thought, so I'm going to bed. All right, I'm awake. Let's open this, and then we'll talk about this. All right, so this space room is a 24 by 14 Rogers. I bought this from Wood and Weather Drum Shop on Instagram. Of course they have a store, but they're in Massachusetts, I think. But they were doing like an Instagram uh, graveyard, you know, orphan drum sale. And I saw this and that sparked my curiosity. So all I'll say about this now is you'll see it in another video, but it does involve this floor tom and that other tom that I bought last month. And now with this box open, I can shove this and this end because these two concert toms just sold. And now I need to pack up this tom and a rim. This is the china that was thrown in with the five snare. So this was like a little freebie. And then this little 10 inch symbol was a freebie also. Someone gave me this in high school actually. I've used it like once. So uh, these just sold. Sold another rim, I forgot to film it, but I made $5. I somehow misquoted the shipping. Remember this old thing? Just sold. I just sold this homemade X-Hat stand thing. This was actually a test build for one of the projects in my Drumeo series. Just sold the spoon and the skeleton snare. Just sold this 12 inch S-hoop, which conveniently fits in this movement drum pad box. Just sold six Ludwig lugs, a 12 inch rim, and a 13 inch rim. All right, so I just bought a bunch of randomness, including some chicken. Not really, there's more junk in here. So I have no idea what heads these are. We got a stock Pearl factory head, 10 inch, nice ambassador that will be put to good use. We got an 8 inch, oh god, coated ambassador, a used G2 coated, a used coated emperor, a used 12 inch coated emperor, a slightly used power center, and an old scratched up 14 coated emperor. So the heads are cool and all, but this stuff is the real reason I bought all this. So we got a set of triple flange, 8 hole, 14 inch snare hoops, and these are also 14 inch rims. These are a set of 10 hole snare rims, and then these two are probably the fanciest out of them all. This is a 14 inch 10 hole mighty hoop, and then this one is a 14 inch 10 hole pearl fat tone hoop, which honestly I've never heard of, but it's like a, almost an S hoop or almost like the older uh, Slingerland style hoops. And now we get to the real good stuff. In the first bag, we have three rack clamps, two of the fancy pearl style for a square rack, then one for a tubular rack, a minor hi-hat tambourine that's missing two jingles, 
and then an old pearl quad beater, whatever you call these. And then the newer Tama Speed Cobra beater that's slightly worn. Next we have a bunch of randomness. There are some clutch parts, but there's more clutches in another bag, I think. Then we have a Ludwig throw off, another Ludwig throw off, this one's newer. And if I had to guess, this is a pearl throw off, mainly because of the pearl style cup washers. And then we have another pearl that is missing a screw. And then we have one Ludwig butt plate and one pearl butt plate. So then we have three clutches with four quick releases. Uh, I think this is a pearl, so a pearl right here. And then both of these look like Gibraltars, if I had to guess, but uh, DW owns Gibraltar, so I think all of these, or these two are Gibraltars, and then this is a DW, so if I had to guess, this goes with this one because it's fancier and has this quick release thing. Ooh, fancy. And then I guess this goes with that one, I guess. And also in the box, we got this Remo muffle thing for a bass drum. And now we have another box of randomness. Got some lug screws, drum key, some nuts and bolts, some Ludwig stuff, some washers, some pedal weight balancer things, some wing nuts, some tension screws, wing nuts, tension rods. And then this stuff, I really don't know what it is. Uh, there's this thing there's this thing if i had to guess this has to do with some sort of pedal maybe and then this thing which is probably some weird fancy symbol felt maybe so if any of you all know what this stuff is leave a comment and you'll get a virtual high five and last there's a bag of 12 of these two lugs. i assume they were pearl because there's a lot of other pearl stuff in here but i don't think they are so if anyone recognizes these please Leave a comment, and again, you'll get a virtual high five. So, I learned that this is a pedal weight. Very fancy, over-engineered pedal weight. So, this one, these two, this one, and then one of these Tama weights came in that lot, and then I had one of these, so I slapped them on reverb, and they just sold. And I just, and, and I just sold the Gibraltar drop clutch. Uh, this is the one with the quick release. I thought this was the DW, but turns out it's the Gibraltar, even though the Gibraltar and DW are exactly the same. It's just, this has the DW uh, handle thing on it. All right, so a few things just sold. These two clamps, all of these memory locks, and the pearl drop clutch. And that is the last of the drop clutches because this one just sold. The set of the 14 inch 10 hole snare rims just sold. All right, so I bought this stupid little cowbell because uh, apparently I collect cowbells now. And then also I bought this Crotali. I was honestly unaware that I had these blobs of solder on it, so that's kind of annoying but I should be able to remove all that. But I've been following this dude on Instagram for a few days now. I honestly forget his name already, but uh, he inspired me to buy a Crotali. So as it turns out, I was sent the wrong Crotali. Apparently I ordered a different note and didn't realize it. So let's check out this one. Hey, there's no solder blobs on it. And then this was also sitting on my porch, and I was very confused when I first saw it because I was like, why did Sweetwater send me a hardware package, and why did the post office open it and then tape it back together? But then I saw the label, and was like, wait a minute, that's not an actual label, like, what did I buy? And then I saw good old Casey Cooper. That's right, I bought his Focusrite ISA 828. After I bought the 428, I was like, why didn't I just buy the 828 to begin with? So my end goal was to have 16 inputs, which I have right now. But, you know, in the back of my brain, I was like, why didn't you buy the 828? You need the 828. So Casey was letting this go for a fair price. And he hit me with the friends and fam hookup. So shout out to Casey. And that's all I'm going to talk about. Preamps and inputs for the rest of my life. These new old stock cymbal washers just sold. All right, so I just bought these two snares off of a buddy of mine. 
This is a 14 by six and a half Yamaha recording, not recording, a Rock Tour custom snare. 14 by six and a half. You see this thing like, damn, that thing probably weighs a million pounds, but really it's pretty light, which is kind of surprising. And then I also got this, a Ludwig Classic. Uh, this has the Monroe badge on it. And I also believe the throw off has been replaced because that's like the newer replacement style. And also the screws on the inside don't match the uh, patina of the others. So uh, yeah. So I'll probably use these on a couple videos and if I like them, I'll keep them for a while. If not, then I'll probably sell them. And inside of this box is another Crotale. Well, this one of course is a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm in the part of the room where I don't come very often, but I just bought this random 12 inch made in Japan rack tom. So this was listed on Craigslist. I made an offer and the guy accepted it. So I went and got it. And sure enough, it was the same guy I got the Amber Vista Light Toms from. But I bought this with hopes that the wrap would match this kit. But unfortunately, it doesn't quite match. You can see it's a bit darker than, uh, than this one. I bought this kit on Craigslist a couple years ago. It's a Labaz, just a random made in Japan drum set. But the only real downside about it is this is a 13 inch rack tom, which isn't the end of the world, but as you all know, I prefer a 12 inch rack tom. But I do have a few options with this now. I can keep it with the 22, 16, 13, and just forget about the 12 inch, or I can ditch the 13 inch and rewrap the whole kit and keep the 12, but that seems like a very irresponsible thing to do. But if we come over here to this kit, we have two orphan drums that are both made in Japan. And then the Tom is actually from this kit. So I have the 12 inch in there. This is a 16 by 16 I bought on Reverb and a 22 inch kick I bought on eBay. So another option is I could take that rack Tom and have like a orphan together blue drum set. Or of course I could rewrap it. But these do have the cliche generic made in Japan lugs. While these lugs more so match this style of lug, which is more of a Slingerland style. So if I did decide to do that, I have a bunch of these lugs, which just might work. But then again, these look cooler. So I don't know, tell me what to do. All right, so to wrap up the month, I bought these on eBay. And then also my buddy switched out some of his bass drum hoops and sold me these as well as a base. All right, so that does wrap up this month. As always, my reverb page is linked down below. Um, I'm about to post a bunch of snares, not all of these, but a good amount of them because I have too many. But yeah, that's basically it for this one. If you like this type of video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, you should go like my Facebook page because I never talk about that. So definitely follow me on Facebook. So yeah, that does wrap up this month. We'll see what kind of fun stuff I acquire next month.